So my answer to this is infuriating because it's not replicable. And you know, when I was when I was trying to break in, I asked the same question that everyone asks: How do I do it? How did you do it? How do I replicate it? Um, I was, you know, working my my non-industry day jobs and writing my own stuff. And I got a call from a friend of mine who was working in casting on Mad Men. And she just happened to be standing outside of the showrunner's office when he said, we need to start getting new scripts to read for the new writer's assistant. And she turned around and said, will you read my friend? And so she called me. I had I was living in New York. I had left LA to just go you know, work my crappy day jobs and write. Um, and she called and said, would you consider applying to be Matt's writer's assistant. And at that point, I mean, we're, I had been, what I like to say, in the wilderness for six years. And it, it was so shocking to me of like the idea of it finally happened. I think I had just, maybe the day before, written off that it was ever going to happen. And then this phone call comes. And he wanted to read two original pieces of material. And that's where I felt validated in having continued to write, though no one was reading it, because I had two new original pieces of material to send. and. Um, I got the call that he wanted to interview me, and uh, I was living in New York. He was interviewing in LA, and it was a Saturday afternoon when I got the call, and he said, uh, his, the person who called me said, he'll interview you on Monday if you can get yourself out here. So at the time, like, emptied my bank account to just, and at the time I thought, even if I just get to have a meeting with Matthew Weiner, that'll be worth, that'll be worth the trip. But he offered me the job, and then I, I held on for dear life. I, I took a bit of a risk. Um, on one of them. So I had uh, the person who called me, um, Erin Levy, actually, who had been a writer's assistant on the show and then had moved up through the ranks. She was helping um, source writer's assistants. She called and said, we would love to read some original material. Matt likes surprising stories. Anything you have that shows that you know how to twist, to surprise, a story that goes in, an, in a direction that you don't expect. And I happened to have um, a, an idea for a pilot at the time that I had, you know, written a terrible version of and thought, what if I spent the next 36 hours um, polishing this into something real? Because it's the only thing, it's, it was probably the most surprising idea I'd ever had. Um, so cranked it into shape, which was a bit of a risk, but got it there. Um, and then I also sent, I had half hours at the time I was writing a lot of half hours and I knew that Matt had been a comedy writer. So as a second piece of material, um, I sent a comedy and I, I thought, well, that could be me sinking, sinking the whole thing, but, um, it worked. So 